Okay, so this is the second question about fundamental theorem of calculus. This is considered an easy level because there's no computation involved for solving this question. The question says find the derivative using the fundamental theorem of calculus part one. So the key note, when the questions ask you to do something um, on the test or assignments or whatever, words mean very specific things. Here it says find the derivative. So you have to find the derivative. And it says, using the fundamental theorem of calculus, part one. It says to use part one. So you have to use part one. OK, so what does it mean by taking the derivative using the fundamental theorem of calculus, part one? This is, the question will say, some kind of a function is equal to this integral expression. And notice that it's going from 3 to x. So part one said that the lower bound was some kind of a number, like x, and the upper bound was a variable. So that you have to note, it's x. And there is some kind of a function given that's within this bracket, and that is denoted as f at x. And, uh, because x is taken, they use t, but that's pretty much what it is. Given the relationship of the fundamental theorem of calculus, we know that what the fundamental theorem of calculus part 1 says is basically there's a function g at x and it goes from integral a to x and there is ft dt because x is already taken. So this in another word means when we take the derivative of g at uh, x is equal to f at x. x matches up and that's that was the first part 1 of the fundamental theorem of calculus. And so when the question is find the derivative of this, we already know what f at x is. The question is asking for the derivative of this. Derivative of that will equate to g derivative x. And so given this relationship right here, we need to plug this relationship into this in order to find the answer. We can say that g at x is equal to 3. And just make sure that you change this variable t because x is going to be plugged in. This is tied to taking the antiderivative. And if this was a number, it would be capital F antiderivative of this minus by that. So here we say 3x to the power of 3 minus 2x and to the power of 6. Given this relationship, that is all we need to get the derivative of the function that is given that expresses the inter integral going from 3 to x.